Where do you think is the best place to start looking for Robin? Well, I'd start by following the main road, back out toward where the old railroad ran through here. That's the quickest path to the woods. Then I'd follow the creek. No doubt she's near the creek, skipping stones or making mud pies. That's where I'd look. I think I've held you up long enough. If you are going to search for Robin, you should get a move on before nightfall. Yeah, you're right. No sense in wasting daylight. Any last words of advice or help you can give me? I can give you this. It's an old native handicraft. It's supposed to ward off evil spirits. You're also free to look through any of my books if you think it might help. Take care of yourself, Lazarus. I hope you can bring Robin back safe. October 24th, 1863. The horrors of battle have followed me even to this remote corner of the war. I have been assigned to command a small group of soldiers into the woods of central Maryland to track down a band of rebel foragers that have been raiding small farms in the area. The troops I've been assigned seem to be good men at first glance, and God willing, I will prove a suitable officer to lead them. I almost hope that we find the rebels gone when we arrive in the woods. I'm not sure if I have the stomach for killing men after what I saw at Gettysburg. Hey, Mosley. How well do you know this area, anyway? Well enough. Why? Because I was hoping you could tell me where a smartly dressed Union enlisted man might meet some female company. Skunk, the only ladies a man like you is gonna meet in this area are certainly smart enough to steer clear of you. Maybe you're just jealous. Quiet. What's up there, Lieutenant? I'd say it's a group of rebels tearing up the tracks. Spread out, boys. I think we can take them. <laughs> Looks like it's time to whoop us some rebels. Keep quiet, Private. Take ambush positions and wait for me to begin firing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
Look at that! We sure whooped them! No officer here. Just a small raiding party. The rest will be hiding out in the woods. Yes. I think- There's another one! Get him! You okay, boy? If I didn't know better, I'd say you'd seen a ghost. <laughs> who... who are you? My name is Steuben. I was just walking by on my way into town to buy some supplies when I nearly stumbled over you. Are you all right? I think so. Yes. What is your name? Lazarus. Call me Lazarus. Mm, like the man who rose from the dead, huh? <laughs> Interesting name. So what are you doing out here by this old railroad crossing? I was on my way into the woods to search for the Weaver girl. Do you know about her? <laughs> I think everybody knows about her by now. Went missing in the woods. I ran into Parson Vance and his search party on their way into the woods to look for her. So you're heading out there too? Well, the sun's about to set. Hope you're planning on spending the night. What do you know about the woods? Yeah, you know, for starters, I live out there. I built myself a house back past the old cemetery when I first moved to this area. I don't like people much. And the woods are... Well... The peaceful. And most people don't have use for an old blind man. And an immigrant at that. Blind? Just like a bat, I'm afraid. But if you're heading into those woods, I'm the man to ask if you want to know anything. Have you run across the Weaver girl? No, not since she disappeared. She sometimes came to play out by my house. And she sure is sweet little girl. Always brought me flowers. If she comes by the house door, you can bet I'll be sure to send her right home. What can you tell me about the woods? Well, they say there's witches in those woods. Of course, they say a lot of things. Everybody seems to have a tale or two about those woods. And I have to confess, I do my best to add to them. Keeps unwanted trespassers away from the house. The story I hear most is that there's an old lady who lives in the woods and feeds on the little kitties. Huh? <laughs> but I've never seen her. Of course, I never see anything. <laughs> Uh, the scariest thing I ever heard in the woods was an old owl. Still, they say the spirits of the dead from your war between the states still walk the trees looking for something or someone. Me? I think they're just stories. But if they keep the locals from bothering me, all the better. How can a blind man survive all alone in the woods? Ah, I like a man who doesn't mince words. And a good question it is. I've been blind since my mother tossed me into the world. But my lack of sight has led my other senses to make up for it. I can hear things no other man can hear. I can also smell things long before they get to me. Plus, I've learned other ways of dealing with life in the woods. I get along just fine. An immigrant, eh? Where are you from? I'm from Bavaria. 
The Black Forest, to be specific. Uh, I had to leave a few years back. And I came to this place. It was almost as if I was called here. <laughs> but that sounds like the rantings of an old madman, doesn't it? <laughs> That's all I have to say. <laughs> that sounds like the Viva Girl. Maybe you won't have to spend the night in those woods after all. Robin, wait. Abandon my men. It'll be over before we know it. Still no officer. This could be the last of them. They'd have to have a commander somewhere nearby leading the raids. I'll check the bodies for information and ammunition. You keep an eye out for more rebels. Yes, sir.
anything, sir? Just a few mini balls and some powder. These men have very few possessions. All right, let's move out. What was that? Sounds like rocks. I don't see nothing. <laughs> it's a damn bird. All right, let's go. Robin. <laughs> Where are you? I don't think Robin is back there. Not finished here yet.
I'm not finished here yet. I'm not finished here yet. Not finished here yet. I'm not finished here yet. There he goes! I see him! Over here, Lieutenant! Don't let it get me! It's gonna kill us all! These damn woods are alive! Ah! You must stop her! See the unseen! Don't let her drain the blood! The sticks are the key to your sight! Stop her! What the hell was that, Lieutenant? What was that, Lieutenant? What was that voice? She was talking to you, Lieutenant. What the hell was that all about? Shut up! All of you! You go to hell, Newhouse. That wasn't anything natural, and it was talking to the Lieutenant here. What the hell was that? I told you to shut up! Lieutenant? What the hell was that, sir?
Let's rest here for a minute. October 24th, 1863. Dearest Anne, the strangest and most frightening thing has happened since my last entry. We encountered a group of rebel sappers attempting to tear up a section of rail outside of Burkittsville, and we were forced to dispatch them. We saw another of them running into the woods and gave chase, but upon entering the wood, all became chaos as my men scattered to the four winds. We eventually came upon a wild-eyed rebel and were confronted with something I cannot begin to describe. It was as if the hand of pure evil came upon the man and spoke to us in a most frightening voice with a warning directed at me. It spoke of a girl and entreated me to stop her from doing something most dire. The man then fell to the earth, dead on the spot. My men were shocked by the experience, and I confess myself that I have no idea what to make of it. What are you writing there, Lieutenant? Writing a book, sir? This is a journal I'm writing to my fiance back home. I'm not very good at writing letters, so I collect my thoughts here, and when the book is full, I'll send it off to her. What's your name? Your fiance, I mean. Anne. Anne Forrester. That's a pretty name. I bet she's beautiful. The most beautiful woman in the whole state of New York. Sir, I have to ask. What the hell do you think that was back there? That rebel, he, he seemed like he was under the control of the devil himself. In that voice. These woods are alive, that's why. Can't you feel it? Ah, nonsense. That rebel was just crazy from fever. What's the matter, couldn't you see it? The locals told me stories about this place. About it being a place of evil. And now I know they were right. What was that? from across the creek. I'll check it out. God, 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 what the hell is it? Does anyone see Newhouse? Newhouse is gone. Christ, he's gone. That did it. Let's get across the creek before it comes back. Does anyone see him? He's not coming back, sir. I think we better move on. I believe you're right. Let's move up the trail a bit and set up camp for the night. In the morning, we'll make our way back to town. Yes, sir. Huh. Yes, sir. After all, I think you owe me two dollars, Tom. Shut up, Jim. Take a look at this. The Indians call these things smudge sticks. They're supposed to ward off evil spirits, but mostly they just stink. Those sticks represent idolatry, Tom. Blasphemy, pure and simple. We should destroy them here and now. Someone's just trying to spook us. There haven't been Indians living in these parts for almost 75 years. I think whoever took Robin must have planted them here. Why don't you keep them, Lazarus? They might come in handy if you run into any spooks. 
I still say it seems awful strange that this Lazarus fella showed up right when Robin disappeared. I think he's in cahoots with whoever took her. Now, Andy, you know good and well this man was wounded when Mrs. Weaver took him in. Robin disappeared while Bess was still nursing him. If it's all the same to you, I think I'll just keep looking on my own. You're as free as any of us to do what you like, stranger. Any of you gentlemen know a man named Steuben who lives in these parts? There's nobody living in Burkittsville by that name. Are you sure? He lives out here in the woods. He's a blind immigrant. I'm telling you, no one lives out in these woods, boy. Least of all some blind foreigner. We'd know about it. Now, we want to get a few more hours of searching in before we make camp. So if you don't mind, we'll be off. I got my eye on you, stranger. I know you got something to do with all of this.